will happen is the buildings, not just the Empire State Building, but all the buildings around it will animate into position, like so. And then again, if I do these gestures I did earlier to pan the map to a 3D perspective, you can now see the Empire State Building on the floor. This is just the map. This is, this, is the, <laughs> this is the new hotness of maps. So two more things I want to show you. So again, uh, if I use that twist gesture, I can now do a 3D panorama. <laughs> <laughs> it works in Paris, but we don't have the 3D buildings yet in Paris. So. Um, oh, oh, so it's a canned demo. Is um, it, it's no, no, we actually have 100 cities. cities. Unfortunately, Paris is... is not, not even the Eiffel Tower? Or oh, you know, I know. It's killing us too. <laughs> it's, it's on its way. I have, I have one more feature I really want to show you. So, um, so you saw I was like panning around the Empire State Building here, so if you bring the phone back up, right? So I can orient it by the nicest perspective. But you don't have to do it manually because this device has a magnetometer, a compass built in. So if I turn on compass mode, what will happen now is the device will animate uh, and turn, change the perspective depending on the way that I'm looking, like so. So this is a really cool feature. We can have a subway and you're like, this way I'm going. I, when you don't have a question. <laughs> so so that, we're, we're actually finished with that, that part of the feature. So, I mean, so this is the always no more piece. But we should talk about the other feature, which is offline reliability. So, because vector maps offline, offline, offline reliability. Okay. And so, not offline Gmail, which would be. <laughs> not offline Gmail, but offline reliability. So, one of the cool things about vector maps is we're, about, we're downloading, in each case, about 1 100th as much data as we used to, which means we can actually do things like 3D buildings, allow you to pan and zoom more smoothly. It also means we can store more information on the phone, which means that if you don't have a connection right then, uh, you actually may be able to continue to use Google Maps because we'll have the information cached for you for the places you go frequently. So Dave, let's go ahead and do a demo. Okay, so, so two ways to go offline. I can either go into airplane mode or connect to Wi-Fi, so I'll actually connect to airplane mode. Um, so uh, now I can see as I have a connection, um, and I have uh, an airplane symbol here at the top. Um, and so uh, what you'll notice is that everything is still working exactly as before. Uh, and what's actually happened here is that we've intelligently prefetched the map information. And by intelligent, I basically mean that we've looked at the positions that you frequent most. For most people, that's like work and home. Um, and we've, we've pulled that data down on the client side. And so it means that when you start up the app, it's instantaneous and the tiles are just immediately there. But also if you have no network or flaky network, uh, they'll also appear for you.